Armadillo, a recurring location that was in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2, except in its return in the prequel to Red Dead Redemption, cholera or something appears to be getting about and the town's practically a ghost town. However, there's evidence to unnatural goings on that might have caused this, though nothing is direct we can take a look anyways. So in this video we're going to be asking the question, is Armadillo cursed? I just realised I asked the same question of Valentine. I promise I'm not doing this for every town as much as I wish I could. This video is built off the back of another video that I've done which is titled Who is the Strange Man? So I'm going to be pulling a lot of things that I discovered in investigating that into this video. So if you go ahead and watch that it might be able to make some more sense of it all. But for those of you who can't be bothered, don't worry, laziness is a skill. We came to the conclusion that the strange man was death himself. You're probably wondering what all this has got to do with today's video. Well, remember what he looks like. So, not sure you passed through Armadillo at all. Whew. Place like hell on earth these days. Used to be quite a nice little town too. Now it's just dust storms and disease and death. They taken the burning bodies because they can't bury them fast enough. I mean, when you see it, it really feels like something biblical. <laughs> and I ain't a religious man. Yep. Really, it's a sight to behold. I certainly ain't never read the Bible on account of me not reading and all, but for a place to turn like that, so bad and so fast, you can't help but thinking, this can't be of natural causes. Folk there are calling it a curse. And I ain't a superstitious man, but it's hard not to see it any other way. They are saying this figure appears sometimes there in the distance. Black suit and big top hat, then disappears. Shadowy. Like he ain't of this mortal realm. <laughs> Reaper and his Sunday best. Maybe they're being punished uh, for sins or something, I don't know. I got enough sins on my tally to figure I'm gonna stay well away from there. And I ain't a betting man, but I put my money on this. Way things are, won't be long before Tumbleweed is the only town left in these parts. And there won't be nothing in Armadillo but ghosts. So the strange man is overseeing the disease that has struck Armadillo. Makes sense for death or as he puts his occupation? I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. Just because people are dying in Armadillo left, right and centre does not mean that death himself has cursed it. He's death. He's gonna go where death is. And death is in Armadillo. But does he have control over what's going on? Well, there's one guy in Armadillo who's completely unaffected by the disease. Chance dialogue in the saloon tells us that the general store owner in Armadillo is completely unaffected by the cholera plague. Now, why is this exactly? Well, look at the portrait behind him. The strange man, death himself. The man who's supposedly watching over Armadillo as the plague tears through its population. This man has a painting of him and he's completely immune to the epidemic. Is the strange man himself protecting the general store owner? I doubt we'll find a reason as to why, but if it is the case that the strange man is protecting the general store owner, then it means that he has power over the epidemic that struck Armadillo. For some reason, people think the strange man is Trelawney, so did Trelawney cause cholera? What? I don't think Trelawney is the angel of death. There is a reason why the developers decided that the general store owner would be protected from the plague, because he's actually in the first Red Dead Redemption. You're a nice, kind-hearted man to meet in a time of trouble. Kind does not come into it. Why? What are you talking about? Why? I bet you like Catholics. I can't stand them neither, nor women. Fabians, socialists, homosexuals, Asians, or British. Between them, they ruined this country. Ruined it. It was a good country once. Now people are eating each other, and it's all the fault of the Jewish, British, Catholic, homosexual elite and their ideas. Well, I, for one, won't stand for it. Have you ever met a Jewish person? <laughs> Thankfully not. Or a British, Catholic, homosexual? Not in my store. Oh, I, I get it. I see you acting clever. Well, let me tell you this. The Jews killed Lincoln. That's why there is a triangle on the money. And they run Europe like one of them Arabian harems. 
Now they've sent this here plague to kill all us decent folk. Yep. You, sir, are truly a remarkable fella. Thank you kindly. I must say, it's a rare pleasure to meet someone with such a grasp on human history. You take care of yourself. I'd hate to see you get savaged by someone and watch the life force drain from your hate-filled body. Uh, hey, hold on there. Why don't you join me in my fight, sir? It's not too late. I fear it is for me. So, Herbert Moon is a pretty hateful man. Why would anybody want to spare him? let alone a deity of some variety. It would make sense if the strange man was God, which don't get me wrong, he could very well be. Why? Because all the things that Herbert Moon listed, God hates them too, right? I'm joking, it makes no sense as to why he's specifically being spared. Maybe he is the source of the curse, and that's why he's immune to it. Herbert Moon, the owner of the general store in Armadillo, could very well be the one behind the curse even if he doesn't know it himself. Or is he just protected because we know how he dies? Provided this is Undead Nightmare Cannon. Herbert Moon! Absolutely. No! Oh, no, no! Ah! Can he be? I'm Herbert Now, there definitely does seem to be something pretty untoward and swift going on in Armadillo. Sure, it's a plague, and it's an authentic disease, but it's spreading very quickly, and the town's practically a ghost town in Red Dead Redemption 2. Then there are the mystical elements, for example, Herbert Moon is completely unaffected by the plague, and he just so happens to have a painting of the strange man, a character who is at least the angel of death, who has been sighted by travellers overseeing the plague kill off the inhabitants of Armadillo. So is Armadillo cursed? I'd say there's a good chance. Now why is a different question entirely, I couldn't begin to explain that one to you, but could it be to do with Herbert Moon's hateful ways? Could he be the source of the curse, hence why he himself is not affected by the plague. But then again, there is no certainty here, but I'd say that there's a good chance that Armadillo is cursed. But you will have to let me know what you think down in the comment section. But thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'd really appreciate that. And also go ahead and join the community Discord, there will be a link in the description. And if you want to go ahead and check out a video on the strange man, I will leave a link to that in the end screen to this and the description. But anyways, I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.